Hey guys, Richard Butler here with another review. And before we go any further, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and do all those things that you should do if you're on YouTube, if you're on Facebook, if you're watching this from my website, welcome. Make sure you sign up for my mailing list, internetbusinessdemystified.com is the site that you want. So what I'm testing out today is um, an AppSumo lifetime deal from a company called onestream.live. What the software allows you to do is to record videos, upload the videos to their system, and then stream them as if they were live. Hmm. Why would you want to do that? Well, because maybe you're a little bit nervous about being live on camera, Maybe you want to prepare yourself better so you could take the video, you could run the video, make sure that it looks okay, and then you could maybe do an overlay. Like sometimes I put on an overlay of like my website address, etc. And then you can go off down the beach, like I did the other day, and do a live. And I was actually with my nephew, I was babysitting my nephew, and my wife said to me, What the hell? She said, I saw that you were doing a live like at uh, seven o'clock, and you were meant to be looking after our nephew. And I said, no, no, no. I said, it's an app that I bought. She said, I was going to kill you if that was true. So even she believed I was going live. And then when she saw, she knew where I was. And when she saw where the live was coming from, she knew that it had been recorded. But the great thing is that this software doesn't give any indication that you're not live. So some people are saying, well, surely that is like lying to people. And it, no, it's not. Because I may want to set up a live for every Monday. And with this um with this software, I can actually do that. So even when I'm on holidays, I can still go live. Or maybe I'm just in a place with really bad internet connection and it, I just need to get something out to people. Oh, what I could do is I could record it on my phone and then upload it to the software and then do the live later on. So there's a lot of possibilities and I have certainly found that the more lives you do, the more engagement that you get. Now, how easy is this to use? Well, really, really easy. And with one code, it allows you to schedule 15 lives, which I've actually found is limiting. So for me anyway, because I want to do so many lives and I want to have them all uploaded, I'll actually be upgrading my codes on this one. But what you do is you go into new stream and well, let me go back. A, let me go back a second. You must, first of all, add all of your different accounts here. So I've added two YouTube uh, channels that I have. One is called Getting Real with Richard. The other, which could be the channel you're watching now, is the one with the reviews. I've added a number of Facebook groups, a Facebook page, my actual profile page, and Periscope, which I'd never used. And if I want to add a new account, I go to Add Account. And what I must do, obviously, is I must have an account on that particular system. Now, for me anyway, I've heard obviously about Facebook, YouTube, Periscope. Twitch is something I've not used, but I will be adding it. Um, Instagram, you need to add. Uh, it's a little bit more complex because what you need to do is you need to go click Instagram and then you need this sync URL. So I've not tried that one yet. Um, but to do something uh, like Twitch, you click on Twitch and then it just takes you off to the Twitch website. And what you can do there is when you go to Twitch, you would log in with your username and password if you have it. If you don't, you would actually register there. So it's quite easy to actually set up these um, accounts. And once you've set up these accounts, that's it. So you'll see that there's Vimeo. Obviously, I know Vimeo, Dailymotion, I know. But there's many other systems, and I don't know them yet. Okay. So what I do is I go New Stream. I have a number of options here. I can actually... Uh, let's see, I'll go to uh, here, upload or record, or I can do previous uploads. Now, the record one I had some issues with. I found that when I did record it, it said that the frame, were, the frame rate was too fast. So what I do is I record it like I'm recording now, and then I just go to upload or record, and I would upload the actual video there. Now, I could actually use previous uploads if I wanted. So I could, let's say I want to schedule this one uh, called experiences. I would select this. I would continue because you do get storage space on their servers. Now here you can do something which is really nice. You can add a watermark so you can have your website address coming up or I want to put up my logo there. I would apply that. I can change the thumbnail here which appears. So I just click on change thumbnail and I would find one here and let's say I was using this one here. I go to open and this thumbnail comes up. And then what I do is I type in my description, I type in any tags that I want to come up, 
and then this is where I can schedule the stream now a couple of things to note there are limitations with Periscope that you can only have 100 characters between your title description and tag so what I usually do is I will do my YouTube um, descriptions um, for Facebook and I will schedule all those together and then I'll go in and schedule Periscope separately now what I really love is that you can set when you want this to go live so I'll say on the 14th I can then go into advanced settings and I can have an event notification so this will come up and okay so this is because I don't uh, it's not one day ahead um, so I can say eight hours ahead so in eight hours eight hours prior to me going live it's going to send that message that you see when you normally go live which says Richard Butler is going to go live uh, get notified when he goes live so that builds up a little bit of excitement as well for viewers and then what I do is I just select the uh, I select the accounts that I want to continue and then I have plan your success and then I have Periscope okay well I want to Periscope and I'll do the other YouTube channel here as well and then you will put in schedule you could say republish regularly or you could have consecutive streams with another stream now I've only used the actual schedule so then what I do is when I go into and I'm going to discard this when I go into schedules it tells me here about when this is going ahead it says the event notification has triggered which means that uh, people have actually been sent the notification that I'm going to go live uh, I could use an embed code here so I could embed this into uh, my website uh, I have it here as well and well what I could do here is I could just okay so for the Facebook there is no embed code but for YouTube I could just copy that embed code and then I would put it on my website there now you'll see I also have it on a periscope here and in periscope I've actually just added the wa watermark what I can do is and you have to be careful with this is I can edit the actual um, I can edit the actual stream here if I want and I can make edits here but I have to do that manually I can't do it for all of the streams or at least if I can I haven't seen it um, I can change the video so this can be useful as well I can copy I can open the stream here so this would open up where it's going to show so this is going to go into Facebook and it's going to tell me here that Monday should be about planning so it tells me here Richard Butler plans to go live now this published by one stream only comes up when you are an administrator of that page it won't show otherwise so people don't actually know whether you're live or not so one of the things that I suggest if you're using this is not to say hey guys you know it's um, one o'clock in the afternoon because when somebody's watching it maybe it's at night or what my wife had said to me was she said hey you say you're going live and it looks sunny but uh, it's dark at night well people don't know so what I always do is I say hey this is Richard Butler good morning good afternoon good evening to you depending when you're watching this so that people may not realize that you're not going live and again it's not that you are lying to the people it is that you are doing this so that you are more professional I think anyway and it's been so handy for me oops so if I go into streaming history this will show me what I have actually streamed okay all of the streams that I've done you see I've done a lot of them here um, I can go into streaming analytics here which tells me on what platforms I'm actually streaming on so I've done most of them on Facebook distribution by day streaming minutes by platform it doesn't show you any engagement that I can see but it's uh, it's not bad so for me this is an excellent deal uh, it's a lifetime deal I don't know why you wouldn't grab this now if you are gonna grab this there is a link in the description of course so I would appreciate if you use that link and you know I might get a referral commission on that if you like this video if you have any questions leave a comment let me know and I'll talk to you very soon take it easy guys bye